Good morning you guys, welcome to another vlog. So this week we're going to do something a little bit different. I told you guys that I wanted to do more themed videos. I decided that, uh, and I think I mentioned this a while back, that I wanted to do like a week of mornings. So I decided this week would be that week. We're going to do like a week of mornings and um, I figured because I have quite a few things going on this week that could be fun for you guys to sort of just bring you guys along. So welcome back. If you're new here, I am Shelly, your new favorite YouTuber. And if you've already been here, then it's just your favorite YouTuber, babe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave some comments down below as you're watching, letting me know your thoughts on the video. Just finished picking up my bathroom and sort of like getting the house together. I um, made my bed and everything. And I also wanted to tell you guys about, before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys about these gummies right here. I've been having such a hard time getting like really good rest. I told you guys um, like a few vlogs ago that I've been like going to sleep in Leia's bed. I just have been dealing with like upper back pain, neck pain, all that. It's been quite difficult for me to get some really good rest. So I was like, okay, I need to start taking like a vitamin um, or something that helps me to like de-stress. I really don't want to have to take melatonin every night, which is what I was doing previously. I was taking the melatonin Ali gummies, which if you are trying to find a gummy that's really good, that's going to help you fall asleep, that gummy does the trick. So I was taking that and then I got these ashwagandha I think that's how you pronounce it. Gummies that I picked up from Home Goods, and I would take those every night. I feel like I like that better, that feeling better than I did the melatonin gummy because the melatonin just makes me want to fall asleep. Whereas the ashwagandha, am I saying that right? Google is free. I should probably just look this up. Anyway, so I took that gummy. I was taking that gummy consistently, and that one was working so much more. It just helps me to like feel more calm as opposed to immediately tired. So I was watching a TikTok video, and the girl was talking about the Let Me Chill gummy, and she basically was just like, she thought it wasn't going to do anything for her. She thought it would just be like the typical, you know, she said like melatonin does nothing for her. She thought this was going to be just nothing in comparison and so she took this and she said that she was just so chill i'm like that's what i need i need something that helps me to like decompress and so i want to pick this up and i have been taking these for the last two nights i kid you not like i take it like roughly around like seven or eight um a little bit before bed i think you're supposed to take it like an hour before bed it is something that i have found that is effective and i'm happy because it's not cheap i think it's like 25 bucks or something like that it's almost eight o'clock now so i sent Leah off to school and did all that i have a nail appointment today at 10 so i'm gonna start getting ready for that in a second but i just wanted to get the vlog started and welcome you guys back to the channel so this morning we're just gonna get ready for the nail appointment i don't really know what i'm wearing i probably should make that decision like now but I want to go downstairs and ice roll my face first I want to wash my face first and then I want to go downstairs and ice roll have my cup of coffee I bought a new creamer well I went to the store to buy two of my favorite creamers by Chobani and I really wanted to try the caramel macchiato one so I bought that one I tried it last night every time I buy a new creamer I don't care what time of day it is I'm like I need to try it out so I tried it last night it's so good so I want to go downstairs and make myself a coffee with the caramel macchiato creamer and then um, we'll come back upstairs. We'll start getting ready for the nail appointment. It's supposed to be like 71 degrees today. That is unheard of. Yesterday was 71 degrees. We were outside, Leia, Milo, and I, we went outside for like a little walk. It's just been beautiful weather and I have no complaints. So yeah, let me go wash my face and then we'll head downstairs. You ready, Milo boy? Let's go. I'm having a woman's week and I feel like this week really did a number on my skin. 
Like I'm either having amazing skin during Women's Week or I'm having like a whole breakout the week before and the week during. So the skin is not skinning this week, but that's okay. So it just is what it is. I'm gonna open up the curtains, get it nice and bright in here, turn on some jazz music. You already know the routine. This is what we do every morning. It's so gloomy today. Yesterday it was so bright and sunny. And today it's nice and gloomy. So I went to Target the other day and I bought these new glasses and you guys, they are so, so nice. This is what the larger one looks like. I really love the shape. And then here's the smaller one. I'll link them down below for anyone interested. I know I didn't need any more glass cups, but since I created my coffee um, Instagram account, I figure I'm going to be doing different, um, like different drinks and stuff and I want to have different glasses. So I got this set from Target the other night. I only took out a few of them and I'm gonna leave the rest of them in the box. And I'm just gonna wash this out. My eyes are watering. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Oh my God. I need to turn this down a little bit. I was watching a video earlier um, on YouTube. It was an interview with the comedian Rob Schneider and it talks. he talks about how he discovered Jesus and just like forgiveness and all that. I'm just, I'm so happy to see so many celebrities and just so many people in general going back to jesus and reconnecting with or rebuilding their relationship with god and i don't know it's just it's a beautiful thing it's such a beautiful thing every time i get online and i see anyone talking about god or jesus i just have to watch i have to tune into their stories no one has ever regretted establishing a relationship with god i've never heard anyone say that they were displeased with their relationship with god so yeah it all makes sense i'm not shocked at all i'm just i'm so happy to see it you know i like love this for us <laughs> made myself a cup of coffee i just used the stoked cold brew you guys know i always tell you that i use the unsweetened one and then i use the caramel creamer by Chobani. Chobani just really, they just really do it when it comes to the creamers. I don't know what they use. I feel like I shouldn't check because then I would be like, maybe not want to use their creamers anymore, but I don't know what they do, but their creamers are just so good. And this cup, like, I understand that the cup shouldn't matter, but it's something about a nice glass cup that I just love having my iced coffee in. This is honestly something that I look forward to every single morning, just sitting on the couch with my cup of coffee, playing my jazz music and just relaxing. This morning I was reading the word. I've been kind of like jumping around throughout the Bible and reading like different books and stuff. Whatever I'm moved to read is what I read, but I really want to take the time to reread the entire Bible from start to finish. I feel like it's been so long since I have deep dove into the Bible where I like read from start to finish. The other day I, I was reading in Genesis and I started like bawling my eyes out it wasn't that i was sad it was more so like when i think about the goodness of god and like what it is that he has done for us what he's given us i'm like i don't know i just it moves me to tears every single time and so while i was reading genesis and just like the different days and what he did on each day i'm like 
how could you not give him all of the glory? These are not small things that he did for us. But anyway, so the other day, this is, I'm, I'm like all over the place, but I was saying all of that to say the other day I was um, I was watching a video and the gist of the conversation that was being had in the video was the guy who was talking about how a lot of us are asking God to bless us, right? Like we want to be blessed. We are asking God to bless us with a new job, new car, new home, our finances, um, just everything, you know, <laughs> like asking God for all these things. And when we try to move ahead of God, nothing works out. Like nothing goes as planned. Whenever, if you've ever tried to move ahead of him, nothing works out the way that you thought that it would, right? So it's important that we wait on God. We wait on him to do whatever it is that we want him to do in our lives. If it's his will, it'll be done. So um, anyway, the guy, he was talking about it in the, what he was talking about in the video is like, we ask God for all these things, but the reason why we don't receive what it is that we are asking him for um in the time that we ask him for it is because either a he knows our hearts right so either he's not going to give it to us because he knows that we're not ready to receive it or he's not going to give it to us because he does not want that for us or he knows that it's not for us i took a moment because i've been you know taking time out to make sure that i am praying specific prayers for people that are in my life um, I've been very diligent <laughs> and I've just been making sure that I'm being more specific with my prayers. I feel like when I pray for my friends and family, I'm like, Lord, you know, bless my friends and family, um, with the desires of their hearts and, you know, this and that, whatever, Lord, let your will be done. And I'm like, you know, kind of, I don't want to say surface level, but in a sense, right. And so lately I have been very, um, in the way that I communicate with God, I've been very specific about my prayers. So I pray for specific family members, you know, friends, um, and for specific things. If I hear them talking about something that they desire or whatever, I'm making sure to pray for that for them. And um, with that, I was having a conversation with one of my family members and I've been praying for something for this family member for a while. In our conversation, I realized why God may not be moving um, at the rate or the, the pace that they want God to be moving in because they may not be ready for what it is that God wants to do in their life. And it made me think about myself too. It was a moment of self-awareness for my, for me for the first time ever in all the times that I've prayed for myself. I've never said this to God. I said, Lord, do not give it to me if I'm not ready. I said, you know, I know I've been asking you to bless me with this. Bless me, bless me, Lord. Don't, don't give it to me if I'm not ready, Lord. You know my heart and you know if I'm prepared for this or not. So I, I come from a humble place, Lord. I ask you, not don't give it to me if I'm not ready because I don't want anything to tear me away from you. I remember just feeling so liberated because I'd never thought to say that before because it wouldn't have come from a genuine place if I'm being completely honest. And I, now, you know, it's the first time that I'm ever just like, Lord, don't give me anything that's gonna tear me away from you or you know my heart, you know that I'm not ready to receive this. So d I, I don't even want it. If you see that I'm not ready for it, Lord, do not give it to me until I'm ready. And I promise y'all, like it just felt like a weight <laughs> lifted off of me. I just felt so good after that. And I'm like, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I feel like that might help someone else to feel a sense of comfort. Cause I know that sometimes like waiting on God, you, you grow impatient and you start to feel like he's not moving or he's not working in your life the way that you want him to. But I guarantee you that is not the case. For anyone who is growing impatient or growing tired, you're starting to to like lose that faith that you had i just oh, i encourage you ask god to bless you when you're ready when you're ready to receive it he is going to do it so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys because i know that you know someone may need that encouragement today he is not on anyone else's time y'all he is not going to move when you want him to trust me i know but yeah just ask him to bless you when you're ready and i guarantee you like the blessings will rain they will rain you have to be patient you have to wait on him let him move in your life because you don't want to get anything before you're supposed to have it that's what that's my 
main thing. I'm like, I don't want it until I'm ready because then I may not have the knowledge or wisdom to keep it, you know? So I want to wait until I'm fully prepared for what it is that he wants to do in my life. So I encourage you guys to do the same. Just wanted to share that. I'm going to sit here, finish ice rolling my face, drink my coffee, and then we're going to head upstairs and start getting ready for the nail appointment. I'm going to finish off with my skincare and then I'm just going to do some very light makeup. I'm just using this Laneige Cream Skin. It's a toner and moisturizer. I'm going to use this Laneige. It's the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. I really just want to keep my outfit so simple today. I want to put on like jeans, an oversized t-shirt. I haven't worn my Louis Vuitton bag in a long time. So I'm thinking I could put that on today and just, like I said, keep my outfit very simple. But I want to cover up some of these blemishes that I have. NARS Radiant Creamy. When I tell y'all my face went crazy just this past week with my menstrual coming, my face went crazy. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then let me pull up my TikTok because I was filming a TikTok. I don't wanna do too much with the bronzer so I'm just gonna put on this Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Fenty, I was gonna say computer, concealer. Oh, you know what, hold on. I need to put my brow gel on so it can be drying. And this is the Refi Brow Gel. This is hands down the best brow gel ever. If your eyebrows get oily, you need to use this stuff because that's one of my biggest like insecurities about doing, whenever I do my makeup, my eyebrows get so oily. But with this brow gel, you don't have to worry about that. It holds your brows in place all day and it also makes it so that your eyebrows don't get all oily and greasy and look weird in photos. And then I'm just gonna take a brush that I would use to blend my foundation and I'm just gonna press in the concealer. And now I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes and I'm using the Makeup Forever setting powder. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And I keep forgetting that I'm doing a TikTok. So I'm gonna brush that off. And then since I'm not doing blush today, I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlight. And this is the Rare Beauty highlight. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna bring that up into the brow. Now let me fill in my brows. Quick little outfit of the day. I'm just wearing these wide leg jeans from Zara. I have on this oversized t-shirt. I honestly don't remember where I got this from. I think it's from Urban Outfitters. Just trying to put my necklace out. But um, I'm just wearing gold accessories. My Louis Vuitton bag that I haven't worn in so long. Kind of missed it. And then um, my New Balance. They're like lavender with a little bit of like tan and cream on them. So yeah, here's the outfit of the day. Very comfy, cute. The sunglasses are Amazon. I'll have them linked down below. And I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so I can be on time for my appointment. So I'll see you guys at the nail shop. All done I wanted to show you guys because they are so pretty but I'm like bleeding right here and I knew that was gonna happen because I sort of felt it but nails are done in full focus the color that I got is put it in neutral I have like a pinkish tint of powder over my nails so it makes the 
um, color look a little bit more vibrant but very natural which is perfect because I don't know if I told you guys but I have an interview this week for a different golf club and I don't want to make the same mistake that I made last year with having red nails at my interview not to say like it didn't hinder me from getting the job because I it was actually for a hotel but the manager pointed it out so I'm like I just you know want to keep it more neutral on my nails so I wanted to make sure that they were done before the interview because this golf club is way more upscale like more of an uppity um, golf club than the one that I worked at last year so yeah so got the nails done I'm gonna head home it's almost noon so we are still within the morning but by the time we get home it'll be noon I'm gonna head home make myself a little breakfast and then I'm gonna go for a walk I've been trying to go on walks for like two to three miles a day right now and I've been pretty consistent with it so I need to go home change into something more comfy and then go for the walk because I can't play no games summer is like right around the corner but not even just to get my body intact but also for like my mental I feel like my walks really help me like mentally um, I have more mental clarity I'm not on my phone like I'll be listening to something but I'm not like scrolling on my phone and there are other health benefits so I have just been enjoying it I love going for walks so we're gonna go home change um, make myself a quick little breakfast and then go for a walk I'm not gonna bring you guys along obviously because we're just doing mornings but I was listening to a podcast um, while I was in there I told you guys about the black girl can I talk i told you guys about the black girl bravado podcast that i like to listen to i'm kind of just like catching up on episodes and the episode today really put things into perspective for me and i just kind of want to touch on it for a second it's basically discussing like eras and reinventing yourself i've thought about who i was like 10 years ago and when i think about myself 10 years ago it's so crazy the transformation obviously i was in my 20s just kind of living life on the wild side not really following anyone's rules thinking that I had it all figured out versus now I'm realizing like 10 years later you know um, I'm realizing like I don't have it all figured out it's okay for me to reinvent myself however many times I need to another one of my takeaways from the podcast that I was listening to today was that I am living below the standard that I have for myself I know the life that I want and the things that I desire not necessarily material <laughs> can I talk materialistically but more so the way that I want to live and I know the standard that I have for myself and so I have made steps to get there I've severed ties with certain people that were in my life that were hindering or that I felt were hindering me from reaching my full potential I always think about this but think about your relationship the person that you're with we'll use working out you know that you want to go to the gym more often you want to work out more often but you have not mastered the gym rat lifestyle in order for you to become a gym rat you have to go to the gym and you have to go to the gym consistently and you have to make it a part of your routine you have to make it a habit if you are in a relationship with someone close friends with someone who isn't in the gym like that nine times out of ten you may not either or you may make excuses for the reason why you can't go work out or you may you'll try to convince them to become a gym rat with you and if they aren't motivated if that's not their the path that they're on they're not going to stay consistent which could also rub off on you so you may notice that a lot of the things that you want in this life you're not attaining them because who you surround yourself with plays a vital role in who you are or who you become as an individual you may not want to hear this but you have to cut off people get rid of things get out of spaces and places that don't align with who it is that you want to become and this is me talking to myself y'all like i'm I'm saying it to y'all because I know that y'all can receive something from this. Y'all will get something from this. I, I know that you guys love when I share my thoughts on things, but that was such a profound message that was in that podcast. And I'm just like, yes, I'm sorry to break it to some of y'all, but that's just the reality. And I always say this and I'll say it until I am blue in the face. But the life that you desire is on the other side of the life that you're currently living. Again, I am talking to myself, but I want to share it with y'all too. Cause I know somebody needs to hear it so yeah there we go anyway I feel like this morning week of morning routines is gonna be mad long so I need to like 
cut the chatter and <laughs> get to the things that it is that I need to do. But this is the first day, so y'all know I had to like catch y'all up and chop it up with y'all. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna head home. Um, I already told y'all what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end off this day and then we'll pick back up tomorrow. But I hope y'all are enjoying so far. And I don't know if I told y'all the nail color that I got, but it's put it in neutral in case anyone wants to get it. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, where are we at? But you should let me know when you're done, and then I'm, I'm done. Here. Okay, Jesus faces the situation of temptation, but he is found as the faithful son of God. Sadly, Adam and Eve fall short in their faith. However, Jesus will fall short, Jesus will never get distracted by sin, he will never betray or abandon you, he will never stop guarding and protecting you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I can do the last question. Okay. How does the truth about Jesus encourage you and what you're walking through right now? For mine, I said Jesus' faithfulness encourages me. guys i am doing bible study with my cousins right now i haven't like spoke to the camera yet i just kind of got ready for the day and then came downstairs to do bible study so i just wanted to say good morning um i'm about to pour myself some coffee and i'll tap in with y'all in a little bit i just see it so we finished up with bible study my cousins had to work so i'm gonna um, head upstairs to my office and get some stuff done that I need to get done But I just think it's so dope that I have my cousins to be able to like do Bible study and stuff with and like learn um, more and it just makes it that much more enjoyable. I mean, I can do it on my own, no problem. But when you have people that you can do it with, it just makes it that much more enjoyable. So I'd love the fact that my cousins and I have chosen to do these things together. Um, and we just all like learn from each other. We piggyback off of each other. And then also to just be able to like hang out with them. We don't live far from each other, but we don't live like super close to one another. So when we just like get on FaceTime and be able to chop it up, it just makes it that much more fun. <laughs> but um, anyway, I feel like my lash is slipping. What is happening? It is, oh my God, did I just do that whole clip with my lash hanging off? I don't really have much else to show you guys this morning. I'm gonna run to the store in a little bit because I want to find something. I have an interview tomorrow. I don't know if I told you guys, but I have an interview at a different golf club. I think I did tell y'all, I think I did, but in case I didn't, I have an interview at a different golf club tomorrow. So I want to go and find something to wear. Um, I realized like every time I have to interview, I'm like, I have no interview clothes. So I'm gonna go and try to find something that would be like golf club appropriate. This golf club is way more like upscale. I wanna make sure that I'm like dressed appropriately. It's crazy because it's like a little bit of a commute, but I really wanna go on the interview and kinda of see what I would have to expect because I wouldn't mind working there. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I have going on tomorrow. And then Thursday, my little boy has his haircut finally because he's walking around here looking like a little stray dog. I'm still so tired, but good morning, you guys. <laughs> I'm getting ready to take Leia to practice. It's not even six o'clock in the morning yet. They have 6 a.m. practice today. So, happy Wednesday morning. Bye, love you, have a good day, okay? All right. Make smart choices. Right. You guys, tell me why Leia just told me. Okay, so you know how guys would ask like what's your body count Leah just told me that the equivalent of that for kids is your kiss count so guys would be like what's your kiss count I'm so glad that she's so comfortable talking to me about stuff by the way her kiss count is zero but she was telling me that how a guy was asking that and I was like I'm sorry I just thought that was hilarious like what's your kiss count shut up little boys Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna just 
is open. same birthday so he wants me to return the gym leah came back home from practice and i completely forgot that they had today is a late start day so she went to duncan with her friend and then she got dropped off at home so she came back home bye. and look what she brought me bye i love you bye Milo. have a good day make smart choices I snatched my lashes off too and now I'm like, whoa. But anyway, so Leia stopped at Dunkin' on her way home and she brought me a churro donut. I didn't even know Dunkin' had churro donuts, but y'all, I am a churro fanatic. Like, I love churros so much and Leia knows that. So she brought me a churro donut, but then she also wrote me a little note. Here, let me show y'all. Because how sweet is this? She said, good morning. I love you so much. Here's a sweet treat for you. She said, I recommend heating it up. <laughs> and it's a churro donut. <laughs> it always reminds me of like what type of mom I am based on like my kid and like, and how compassionate and loving she is. Don't get me wrong, she stresses me out sometimes. And I definitely deal with like the teenage attitude, but she's so sweet and so thoughtful. And it just, I know that it's because of how I am with her and so I don't know I just feel like she's gonna be the type of kid that like goes out and gives that back to the world so I'm just very mindful of how I am how I speak to her how I treat her and I don't know it's just like I feel like this is like a re reflection of that but I'm gonna heat this up like she recommended I'm gonna heat this up and then I'm gonna go upstairs and start getting ready I want to film my makeup today so I'm gonna do that and then I also have I'm gonna put this camera back a little bit because I feel like low-key I just need a wider lens but that's neither here nor there but I have my interview today so I'm gonna start getting ready for that and I want to do like my quick makeup look that um, a lot of people have been asking me for um, it's like my makeup look with no lashes and it's very beginner friendly so I will start doing that in a little bit so I'll see you guys once I am ready for my interview makeup is done i just finished getting dressed and i'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick but i need to switch over this isn't gonna sit up i need to switch over my purse y'all i don't go anywhere without this it's the fenty blot powder or this my hand sanitizer or this <laughs> my summer fridays lip balm i'm gonna do a what's in my bag for you guys too so i always love i don't know why i've been like back into watching what's in my bag videos I don't know if it's the nosiness in me or what, but I love watching what's in my bag videos. Debit card, ocean battery, tie pin. Interview outfit of the day. I just have on this black fitted dress that I got from Zara and I like that it has the sort of like the high neck or mock neck. And then I just have on this pleather jacket from Zara, my YSL bag, and then I'm wearing my little dupe sunnies here and i'm gonna put on these black boots and just keep it like with the all black this is my little interview look it looks like i'm going on like a brunch date which i might so yeah but keep in mind y'all this is for a bartender job so <laughs> so i will let you guys know what how the interview goes i'm gonna tap back in with you guys i know i'm only supposed to be doing like morning days in my life but today was just a little different since i had my interview um at two don't mind the mess over here i'm like doing laundry was trying to figure out what looks i wanted to go with i have my resume over there that i need to grab and then i'm gonna get out of here so i will see you guys later rushing out of the house and completely forgot to grab my little car tripod but i made myself another cup of coffee because 
not been able to eat since I was like working all morning. So I'm like, look, this is gonna have to, this is gonna have to hold me over until then. I have been, ooh, I've been loving the Stoke Cold Brew with the um, white chocolate mocha creamer or the caramel macchiato one, y'all. Oh my God, so good. Also another good blend or combo, the lavender, um, I was gonna say creamer. The lavender syrup, I have a link to my Amazon storefront, but the lavender syrup mixed with the sweet cream cold. Can I get my thoughts together? My The sweet cream um, creamer with the Stoke Cold Brew, fire. The lavender and that sweet cream blend together is just so good. We're headed to the interview. I have a really good feeling about it. I'm hoping that they're offering a part-time position. I don't really want to take on a full-time position. So we'll see once we get there, but I just wanted to check in from the car, <laughs> say we're on our way. I'm gonna see y'all once we get there because I'm sure y'all probably can't really hear me, but yeah, wish me luck. so it is much later I did my interview and i don't know i feel like i nailed it okay i feel like i nailed it i was there for a long time but i'm not leaving from there now i ended up stopping at the grocery store on my way home because Leah didn't have practice tonight or or like in the evening because she had practice this morning so i am gonna go home and make dinner but i wanted to give you guys a little update on why is the steering wheel so high it's like blocking everything but i wanted to give y'all a little update on my interview when i tell y'all when i pulled into when i pulled into this country club if i take the job here i don't know that there will be any more bev carbatty series because this country club is like top tier um very famous golfers go here members only like super you know and i'm just like this is where i need to be so we were talking like schedule and stuff it's so crazy because they had me there for a while um they really liked me i really liked them i will say the interview went very well um so we were like talking schedule stuff like that i told them that i preferred part-time we'll see what happens they said i should hear something by next week if i got the job or not so i'm just like it's up from here you know it's above me now we just gotta wait and see what happens but I really did have a really I had a really good interview it was like an hour 20 minutes which is a decent time for an interview so yeah they really like I said they really liked me I like them now we just gonna wait to see what happens but I ended up going to I ended up stopping at Jewel to get some things that we needed for the house I feel like I'm at the grocery store at least like three to four times a week it's crazy I am one of those like people when I cook I like to have like fresh like shrimp especially because I eat seafood a lot so I like to have fresh shrimp fresh salmon I don't like to have it like sitting for multiple days or freeze it and then I thought I just don't like the taste of it I feel like whenever especially salmon like if salmon if the salmon was frozen prior to and then I cook it I feel like I can always taste it I could taste that it was frozen I don't know how to explain it but I just can't especially with my freezer like when I freeze things and then unthought I feel like I can always taste the difference so yeah anyway I need to make better choices and figure out how to make my grocery trips more cost effective because it's ridiculous like I'm at the grocery store so many times a week and then just the cost in general like everything is so expensive the prices that they're setting things on sale for is literally the price that it would be originally before they hiked up the prices in the first place anyway no complaints because I can't change it I don't <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it so it just is what it is I'm just gonna have to make better choices and America don't care about their people clearly so um like i said just stopped at the grocery store grab some stuff i'm gonna make a shrimp pasta tonight Leah loves alfredo sauce so i'm gonna go ahead and do alfredo sauce i'm gonna season it up real good and throw in um i have some garlic bread too that i grabbed from the store so i'm gonna throw that in i'm keeping it very simple and sweet today um leah has tumbling this evening i told you guys about how leah ended up having a concussion um so she didn't go to tumbling for like two weeks because we just really wanted to make sure that she was feeling up for it and better before we just like threw her back 
on the tumbling mat so she ended up going on monday all went well she's like staring at me she's probably like what is this girl doing so she ended up going on monday i sat in there i was at the edge of my seat i was literally like staring a hole into her because i just wanted to make sure that she was okay and didn't freeze up or anything like that i was kind of nervous yeah so i sat in her tumbling class on monday and then she has another one today because they switched her class so that she can be with a different coach but they switched her tumbling class so that she could be with a different coach and so she's gonna go in today so she has tumbling at 7 30 it's only 4 30 now so i'm gonna go home make dinner really quick and kind of get the house in order i was like washing my comforters and stuff this morning so i'm gonna go finish up my laundry and then we're just gonna you know chill out for the rest of the evening so i'm not gonna vlog this is supposed to be like morning vlogs or mornings in my life but i feel like this week was just super chaotic and i was really trying to get a lot of work done i've been super productive this week um and i just don't want to show you guys like the boring parts of me just like sitting at my computer or whatever so i'm just using this time to like update you guys and keep y'all in the loop let y'all know what i have going on this week and my stomach is growling like crazy so i'm about to head home so i can cook because i'm starving and coffee just ain't gonna cut it no more so let's go home <laughs> and this lady in front of me is like staring at me like what is this girl doing talking to my camera lady talking to my camera oh shoot oh my god this dude looks like music soul child stop to wash my face really quick because I have to take Milo to his grooming appointment. She said I could bring him at between 8.30 and 9, I think. I probably got the best sleep this morning that I've ever, not ever had, but that I've had in a very, very long time. Oh my God, I slept. I slept so good. The thing is, I was exhausted last night. I was on the phone with my aunt and my cousin and I ended up falling asleep. I was like dozing off while I was on the phone with them. I feel like I get the best sleep when I'm like exhausted. So I knocked out, slept so good. Leah has been sleeping in my bed all week. She's been like congested all week and I don't know if it's because of the weather or what, but it's weird because Leah never gets sick. I mean, I don't think she's sick, but she is a, a bit congested. So she's been wanting to sleep in my bed this week. And um, last night, it was just the first night that I was really exhausted and I just knocked out but anyway happy Thursday like I said we're getting ready I'm gonna get ready really quick because I'm gonna take Milo to his grooming appointment and then I want to stop over at the coffee shop also I was just using the road skin pineapple refresh daily cleanser to wash my face i really like it because it feels like a gentle cleanser which is what my skin needs these days i don't know what is going on with my skin but i'm trying to clear up these blemishes i don't have any active breakouts thank god but still trying to get rid of these blemishes so i'm gonna put on some of this niacinamide by the ordinary and if you have blemishes, if you are trying to get rid of some blemishes on your skin, try this stuff. This is the Supernova Eye Cream by Herbivore. Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer by It Cosmetics. Super Goop Glow Stick. About me, I will scrape and scrape the 
inside. A loose nose concealer just to get the rest of the product out because I just love this one so much. The Radiant Premium. And while I let that dry down a little bit, I'm going to put on my earrings. They're smaller, thicker hoop earrings. I wear them all the time. Hey, what's the weather today? Looks like it will be cloudy today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 51 degrees with overnight lows around 34. I just, I'm like shocked at how beautiful the weather is here. And I'm actually going to put in my little gold hoop earring. I'm going to put this one into my second hole. Okay. And then I'm just going to put another small gold hoop that I have. I'm going to put it in my cartilage. I don't know if you guys knew that I had, not that this is even newsworthy, but I stopped wearing earrings in my cartilage because for one, this is the most painful. I just think it looks so cute now with all three of my holes, but I was one of those, <laughs> I was one of those people like I had like a bunch of piercings. I wanted like a bunch of tattoos, I wanted a whole sleeve y'all like, or like a half sleeve um, of tattoos. I don't, I never got it, but I wanted it. And I used to have my eyebrow pierced I had my belly button pierced at one point. I was just so, I don't know, I was like such a rebel. Like I remember when I got my eyebrow pierced and my mom was like, why? I don't know what that was inside me, but it made me want to get like more piercings, more tattoos, just crazy. I'm glad that I never did get the um, half sleeve. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it just, I don't know. I just feel like you just evolve and I just don't think I would have been happy with myself if I would have gotten a half sleeve of tattoos but yeah so when I got my cartilage pierced it was more so me just like trying to like I said be a rebel but then this ended up being the most painful piercing my eyebrow piercing was like so bad it kept getting infected and I'm like that's what I get for trying to go against my mom's wishes <laughs> crazy um, okay, let me gel up my brows and then I'll go get a brush to blend this concealer. And I'm just using the Refi Brow Sculpt. Here is the package that Smashbox sent. If it'll focus. It's their Always On Lipstick. This is a really pretty color. And then they sent me a liner, their photo finish, their infamous photo finish. Um, smooth and blur primer which I'm excited for that and then they sent me a mascara the super fan mascara and a always sharp waterproof cold liner and they actually sent me one of these before and their mascara is really good Leia loves it I, I gave the other one to Leia here's what the one looks like I gave the other one to Leia Leia is obsessed with mascara so whenever brands send me more than one I always give it to Leia wait I forgot to <laughs> Curl my lashes but yeah they sent me they sent me one already and then I, I gave that one to Leah and Leah has been loving it she was like mom this is the best mascara so Smashbox if you're watching this a little Gen Zer said y'all have the best mascara and she's tried plenty she was a L'Oreal telescopic girly okay for the longest time she felt like no mascara could top that she started using this one and she's like she just told me yesterday she's like mom this is the best mascara ever <laughs> and y'all know leah does not lie and put some of this mascara on and do the other side oh also yesterday i put on this Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat. It's in the shade Hot Cherry. I put it on yesterday when we were standing in the bathroom and Leah was like, oh, that's a good color. And then she wanted to put it on. I bought this around the time of the Sephora sale and I haven't really worn it much since. And when I put it on yesterday and Leah said that, I was like, oh, period. <laughs> you know how when your kids say something, you're like, oh, okay, like it must be nice if your kid points it out. So it has like a nice little like pinkish tint to it which I like and then it also has the plumpy effect not that I need it but last step I'm just gonna put on a little bit of this Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist just put it I'm gonna change my clothes really quick see what it is that I want to put on and then I will show you guys my outfit but I also need to comb my hair out 
I'm gonna also text my beautician and schedule a hair appointment. Maybe get a, a hair appointment for next week. Okay, let me get dressed and then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I've been loving this purse again. This is why I don't like to get rid of stuff because I always go back to loving it again. Oh, so I'm thinking for sunglasses I could do these could be good or I could do these these are like the tortoise shell Prada dupe I kind of like these does anyone else do that where you have to like pause in the mirror just to make sure that you like your outfit or you like your look this one's cute too this one gives like kind of like that hippie vibe for fragrance we're back with this one this combo y'all is so good the Dolce and Gabbana um, Garden and Rose 31 by La Labo. These two together, just so good. Shoes, I feel like I should have done TikTok, but for shoes, we're gonna do these. So I just have on these sunglasses because I need to post my TikTok and see which one they say. I filmed a TikTok really quick <laughs> to see which ones TikTok will go with, but I have on these joggers from Boohoo Man. These are my favorite, no, not Boohoo Man, Boohoo. These are my favorite joggers. Um, I always wear these. And then just a white tank top. This sweater, I think I got from, I don't know where I got this from. I've had it for years. Um, just a, it's just a long cardigan. You guys already saw, but I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton Damier print bag and gold accessories and everything. So I'm gonna go and drop my little boy off to get his hair cut and then I'm gonna stop over at the coffee shop. Are you ready? You ready to get your hair cut? Look at your hair. It's so crazy. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you're crying to get out, but you're gonna cry when you find out where we are. Please look at his hair. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. He cries to get out of the car, and as soon as he realizes where we are, he's like pulling, tugging, like no, mom, please. So we're gonna head over to the coffee shop. But I got a package from YSL Beauty when I was pulling out of my garage today. And I want to show you guys what I got, but I don't want to do it in front of the groomer's spot because I feel like they're going to see me. I just feel like they're going to look out and be like, what the hell is this lady doing? So I'm going to pull down a little bit and then I'll show you guys what they sent me because they sent me some more lip shines I see. And these are my absolute favorite i also really love ysl beauty's mascara they really did their big one with their mascara it makes your lashes look super like full but the lip shines are definitely like runner up they're so good okay this one is showcasing nude the packaging is so chic oh that's a pretty color can you guys see that wait how do you oh, okay so that's what that one looks like hopefully it's focused and then this one is scenic brown and that is sexy so pretty i'm gonna try these on when i get home thanks so much to ysl beauty for hooking your girl up with some more goodies we love that okay all right, let me go and get a cappuccino from the coffee shop that I love because they just make the best cappuccinos. And I also just want to go there, get out of the house and like chill, wind down. I told Muff that I would come up to our job later on today. So if I'm still up for it, then I'll go up there because they have the best oysters. If you guys are in like the Chicago or Chicagoland area, go to Cajun Boil. If you like like seafood, go to Cajun Boil. They have the best oysters. And if you go during happy hour, I think they're like half off or something like that. So yeah. Anyway, I'll see y'all in a second.
I went home. I went home and changed into this pullover um, sweater, and then I'm about to go for my walk. I was trying to wait until Milo's groomer called me so that he can go on the walk with me, but she hasn't called me, so I'm just gonna go by myself and do three miles. I have been trying to get my walks in every day. Walk three miles, so got my headphones. So I just pulled my hair up into this little bun. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to the Black Girl Bravado podcast. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave my camera. Get it. back from the walk we did three miles today i'm so proud and now i want to make something really quick to eat also milo's groomer called and said that he is ready to be picked up so i'm gonna i'm gonna run and grab him but before i go i want to make a if i can open this i want to make a banana and peanut butter toast on sourdough bread. I'm gonna make two actually. So I realized like I haven't showed you guys what I eat in the mornings, but I usually fast in the morning, which I should have thought this through before deciding to vlog my mornings. I've been trying to like fast in the morning, kind of kind of intermittent fast, but I try to eat between like either 10 and 6 or 12 and 8 every day. I also bought myself an acai bowl from jewel i told you guys about these so many of you guys have been tagging me um telling me that you love acai bowls and that i put you on to these they're just so good so i have this um to have later on i'm probably gonna have it mm, i don't want to say i'm gonna have it for dinner but realistically i just might because i don't know i've just been on a healthy kick i've been loving having like fruits and vegetables and just everything healthy and by the way what is going on with my hair ah anyway whatever but um i've been loving just having like fruits and vegetables and just eating so much healthier and i'm also just really proud of the fact that like because i eat healthy leah eats healthy i've been buying more um like fruits and vegetables and stuff and just like putting them in this little thing right here and because i have this sitting on the counter Leia has been eating more like apples and bananas every day she grabs a banana from here and takes it to school so yeah it's really been working out and it encourages me to eat healthier when i have like fruits and stuff sitting on the counter so that's what i've been doing i've really just been enjoying eating healthier but i also drink a lot of coffee which i know it's not healthy and it suppresses my hunger urge <laughs> I was telling you guys in a previous vlog that I just haven't really been hungry like that. Eating healthier, like I'll have yogurt, Greek yogurt with fruits, bananas, whatever, I'll have that. I've been more health conscious and I think with being like that, it's made me not really want to consume a lot of the food that just isn't good for us. I don't know, my camera's not gonna sit up like that and I don't have my tripod down here. But as long as I am getting my nutrients, that's all that matters. <laughs> I also told you guys that I've been trying to like increase my protein. Also, forgot to take my vitamins today and I always take two. This is my favorite peanut butter, it's from Trader Joe's. I love it because it is so creamy. 
you don't even have to have it on toast. Like, look how creamy it is. Sometimes I just eat it with banana on its own. And it's just so good. <laughs> okay, hold on. That's a lot. Slice of banana. I just drizzle some honey. Okay, you know what? You might be able to do this. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to put some chia seeds, sprinkle some chia seeds on top. These are a good source of protein, so if you're trying to increase your protein intake, get you some chia seeds. It's six grams of protein and two tablespoons. Just put a little bit more. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It usually looks better, but it is so good. And then I'm going to make myself some chlorophyll water. just realized that I forgot to show you guys this flower arrangement that came yesterday. So pretty. It's like perfect for spring. I have it sitting on the kitchen island. Right here. It's just so pretty. Switched back into my outfit and then I just put these glasses on. <laughs> We're gonna go and pick up Milo Boy. I am hoping and praying that she cut his hair better than last time because if you guys remember it looked like Milo had a perm the last time he went and got his haircut so let's do that my stuff why did you give her a hard time oh I wish you would have cut your beard shorter but all right I guess Y'all, look at him. Okay, so the hair on this, I don't know why she insists on leaving the hair on his face so long. Like, look at his beard. Milo, I'm gonna go home and cut that beard a little bit shorter, cause, uh-uh, we can't have that. But you look so much better, at least we can see your eyes. <laughs> at least we can see your eyes. Why did you give her a hard time today? She told me. Why'd you give her a hard time today? That's not nice. And look at that little piece. Y'all, so why did I just check Kennedy Ryan's Instagram account? This Could Be Us has officially dropped. I was sitting here searching, this could be us near me. Where can I go and get this book near me? And I see that Amazon has it. I really just wanna get my hands on it ASAP and I know that if I order it off of Amazon, I can get it by tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order it. I'm also thinking that we'll do a book club and like maybe I can do like a Zoom book club for all the girlies or all the bombshells, for all the bookworm bombshells who plan to or are reading it when i read before i let go i wanted to discuss it immediately like i was like who am i gonna talk about this with i want to talk about this. <laughs> maybe we can do it with this one milo's in the back crying he's gonna give me a hard time i have to take him for a walk but i'm gonna order it tonight make sure that i order it so that i have i have a few things that i need to get off amazon anyway so i'm gonna order it tonight i'll have my link down below for anyone else who wants to order it and you know start reading it whatever but yeah 
yes oh my god i'm so excited that it dropped i was reading like the reviews and stuff and so many people were like kennedy ryan has done it again this book is so good da, 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 da. so I'm gonna get my hands on it i'm gonna order it tonight and i'll have my links down below for anyone else who wants to get their hands on it and read it too because y'all we have to do a zoom book club i'm gonna figure out i i don't know how to really like use zoom like that i only know it when people send me links i'm thinking i'll put like some stuff on my website um that'll give you guys the zoom link to be able to like um participate in the zoom with me hi my neighbor he's like he's <laughs> probably like what the hell is she doing but i'm gonna figure out the whole zoom thing because i really want us to be able to do a book club and talk about it chop it up be able to meet maybe we can have a glass of wine while we're chatting i don't know whatever it is we'll figure it out but i really want to do a bombshell book club with you guys so anyway let me walk milo real quick and then i think i need to stop vlogging for the day it's already 3 48 well past the morning but i just had to tell y'all that i saw that the book was available okay we're going buddy good morning it's friday happy friday you guys we have morning practice today so we are uh oh why is it zooming i'm about to go and drop Leah off at the school and then i'm gonna come home and start editing wow that's right i'm gonna come home and start editing this vlog um so that i can get it up for you guys and i also need to edit my makeup video too but i have some things that i want to show y'all this morning so before we end off because this is going to be the last morning that i vlog i went yesterday to target and bought the blue matcha by chamberlain matcha or coffee or whatever the name of it it was so good and so i want to show you guys but i had to order a new hand frother because mine broke yesterday i don't know how but it did so i ordered a new one and i ordered um my book that i was telling you guys and i also ordered another thing of lavender um i ordered another thing of lavender syrup so okay come on milo where is he come on anyway welcome to another day leah do you want to say good morning did some skincare sort of pulled myself together and I'm about to do some laundry because my basket is filling up <laughs> quickly As soon as I took out my load this morning, I put these pajama pants right back on. I'm just wearing this pullover. It's from H&M. These pajama pants, it comes with like a long sleeve top. It's from uh, Victoria's Secret. Such a comfy pajama set. I have like three of their, three or four of their pajama sets. And this one is by far my favorite. It does amazing in the wash. There's no like pilling or anything like that. I've had these since December and I've washed them maybe 20, 30 times since I've had them. So yeah, and they still hold up very nicely. But I'm gonna go downstairs and open the house up a little bit. Um, just like open up the curtains and do all that. I need to take this downstairs. I'm sure Milo's about to follow me. <laughs> seem kind of dark in here because it is very gloomy outside today but i'm gonna turn on my let me turn on my jazz music real quick this one's nice
there was one on here in the living room looked almost identical to my living room at my house i kind of like this one too this one's nice let's do a coffee shop i need to put my phone on the charger nice and bright in here I'm gonna go downstairs and do the same thing I think these curtains are open down here but sometimes Leia comes down here and she closes them oh nope it's open nice and bright down here also I don't even know if I told you guys but this lamp let me turn it on This lamp looks so much better down here and this is his favorite, favorite spot but the lamp looks so much better down here I'm still not a hundred percent on the space because we haven't brought or I haven't found a rug that I like but it's nice and cozy down here which is all that matters to me Leah spends a lot of time down here I don't really ever come down here unless we're watching a movie or something but That bang. I can't. Why does she leave your bang like that? Should we call her? Yesterday, I think I just was telling you guys about it this morning, but yesterday I ended up going to Target to get the matcha powder. This one is by Chamberlain Coffee. It's the blue matcha latte with oat milk. It's vanilla sweet. So I'm gonna turn on the pot because we need hot water. My milk frother, I don't know why it's so dark, but my milk frother broke. Let me show y'all. This is the one that I have, and this is the only way that it works. It's so ghetto. Hold on. Wait. Like, <laughs> I have to hold the battery like this. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Very ghetto, but we gotta do what we gotta do until my new one comes. It's supposed to be here later on today. I'll have this matcha powder linked down below. I tried it out yesterday and it is so good and it's so pretty. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do oat milk for my milk of choice. And then, I'm also gonna make blueberry lavender sweet cream cold foam. I think all of my coffee stuff is in the dishwasher. I got the heavy whipping cream and the half and half for the sweet cream cold foam. I have my blueberry syrup and my lavender syrup. This is the one that I use. The bottle that I ordered that's gonna be coming today is my like top favorite lavender syrup it's by a different brand i can't remember but i'll have it linked in my amazon storefront this one's good too don't get me wrong but the other one it's a bigger bottle and i don't know i just like the flavor better but this one is good too this brand is good so i'm gonna wait until the water's done boiling and then i'm gonna show you guys how i make the matcha and it is oh my god it's so good you know it's kind of fun how a room full of things feels completely empty. You're not in the house. How could I have known the fortune I would?
I'm also just gonna put in a little bit of lavender in here because I do like lavender in my matcha. I'm only gonna make a little bit of cold foam, so I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of half and half. I'm gonna do a little bit of lavender. I used way too much ice <laughs> to make this, but here's what we're left with. The blueberry lavender matcha, oat milk matcha. I have a little bit of my acai bowl this morning. hungry but I don't want anything super heavy this, these strawberries just look so fresh I'm so excited for this acai bowl y'all have no idea so I think I'm gonna end off this video here just because I'm gonna spend the rest of my morning into the afternoon editing this video as well as like trying to edit the makeup video. I don't know which one's gonna go live first, but I want to get them both edited today. So I'm gonna spend majority of the rest of my day sitting at my computer. So it's not gonna be anything too exciting going on today or this morning for you guys but um i do hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me every morning this week if you did enjoy hanging out with me make sure to give me a thumbs up on this video it does help to increase the reach on my platform and it also just lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you in the next one bye oh, it's kind of funny how a room full of things